Um, yeah, he has. Yeah, I have several times. He can a lot actually. It's more than several times. If you if you have a conversation with Runner Muck, yeah, twenty yeah. percent of it is good Joshness, right? Just like typical. I'm Josh. Here's what I do. And the other, yep. like, 80% is, I fucking hate Protoss. Oh, bullshit race. <laughs> and, yes, that's all you need to well, know. Well, with, um, with the training that Run the Muck's been doing with Ruins, especially with the mech style in, in um, TVP, he's, he should be doing a right versus Protoss these days. Oh, the mech style? Yeah, um, he's been training with Ruins. He actually helped uh, Ruins. Um, guys, can I just cut you off? Just hold that thought for, thought for a second. I'll do the player intro real quick as the start of the match is happening here. I in the will. bottom left we have... Uh, the Purple Terran, uh, British, who's playing for Ninth Legion, has chosen this map, Cloud Kingdom. Very long uh, rush distances and stuff like that. Uh, in the top right, we have the Red Zerg, Chains Ore, playing for Fade, who has uh, managed to actually just knock out our gold Protoss at Dune. So he's playing pretty well. He has the most bizarre Zerg style I've seen in the last few weeks, I think, but he's doing good. <laughs> now, um, while we have some dead time, I want to go back to what we were talking about before. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Well, I've actually kind of forgotten what we were talking about before. Does yeah, uh, um, run him up. Yes. Uh, Ruins, the, the player... He'll, the, be, he'll be joining us at 10 o'clock, by the way, guys. Okay. The, uh, the GM player, Ruins, who, um, who actually... Uh, you're lagging there, Hademan. Am I? Sorry. You're somehow I don't know why. killing everyone. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't want to blow Can't my say, own sorry. horn, but this is this is my conversations <laughs> with Josh usually. Oh man, I've been doing really good against Protoss lately. Yeah, my next style's good. Yeah. And then he plays me and just ends up raging about Protoss. So, <laughs> whether that's me being good or him being bad is left to your interpretation, I guess. He's actually killed an SCV here, building the barracks, kind of forcing, uh, forcing a bit of a weight on that. True. First marine, that's like a, so that's like a strategy I do. <laughs> that's that's really unusual. Now he spots the gas. This this could mean quite a few things. Um, gas first means he has to be very careful with the drones he makes at the start. So get the queens up, put the queen on the ramp, make a spine crawler. So that would indicate normally that it would be Hellion opening. However, this is the lower league, so we'll find out what we'll what we'll see. Indeed. For sure. He's going to steal a gas here. He wants to make sure he can't double gas and go, what would that be, early siege tank or some kind of factory or banshee build or something? Oh, uh, banshee builds. <laughs> I, hate, I hate to say it, Lives, but I think he did it just to save his drone for a bit longer. <laughs> okay. Much less the um, blocking of uh, yeah. additional tech. I mean, that's... Uh, and he doesn't cancel it. No. If you, if you, cancel, if you cancel it and reapply it, you can do that till up, for up to like seven minutes or so. What, uh, b before it starts taxing on you, as, as well, it, um, the the magic number is three marines kill it. So if two marines are shooting it, you can just like keep it morphing. But three anything over three marines, the um health becomes detrimental and starts losing it. And what do you use? Like you lose like seventeen minerals or something like this every time you remake oh, it. It's negligible. It is. It's really it is so small. It's not even worth mentioning. I think because you can. You just get you it. get like six. Every time you do it, you lose like six or so minerals, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, just as long as you cancel it before the drone dies, so, like, you can get some money back. But, uh... Yeah, anyway, two barracks going down, and the, and the tech lab on one of the barracks, and the fourth barracks going down, we're going to be looking at some sort of, I'm assuming, one base pressure with some sort of stim timing or combat shield timing. Definitely. Definitely. I would hope that it's a stim timer, though, because that would be cooler. <laughs> Well, on, on one base gas, I know he's not going to go many upgrades. It's, it's going to be a mainly marine army. Mm. Yeah, well, the Zerg's actually got his gas, Whoa. pulled his drones. So he's now Three spine crawlers. For gas, so he might be getting uh, perhaps Roach or even Banely. Um... Hasn't actually scouted anything, but he puts up the three spine crawlers anyway, maybe fearing some sort of attack. He must. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows there's no observer here thanks to this overlord. Um. Uh, sorry, early expansion, rather. Yes, I was observe. just going to say. Actually, no, you're right. Okay, so that would have tipped him off. He would have thought, hell, there's no expansion now. Let's put up three crawlers just uh, just to be safe. That's good. I don't know if that's overkill, though. Like, three spines. Well... Uh, it delays your third a little bit. Maybe two. But it doesn't look like... Maybe two. It doesn't like look like he's going to need to get a third. Uh, oh. There is a push actually coming out here for British across the map. Or some kind of poke. 
Takes out the uh, yeah, it looks like he's gonna go roaches. Well, I mean, roaches aren't terrible against marines. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's gonna need to get a lot out ASAP because he has, uh, by the looks of it, right. what is that, like 13 marines on the way to his base probably, right now? I reckon he probably doesn't need the roaches, the queen drill isks. Yeah, yeah. We'll do plenty of damage. That's what I was going to say. I reckon he's got enough queens to hold himself. Maybe get a tiny zergling buffer in front of that and you'll be fine. Yeah, and here come those links. He managed to just uh, pop um, that creep tumor and the spines poke here we away. Go. Oh. oh, complete surround. Oh, the no oh. And they're getting moves. That was an amazing surround, denying any sort of attacking by the Marines there. Marines are getting absolutely chewed up by zerglings. They were very um, poorly controlled there as well. Since they were on a Zerglings, move command yeah. to try and escape. Oh, yeah, I think he, I think he tried to run past the spines and then kind of decided to start a step, get a shot off, and then choked or something. I'm not sure. I think I think he just screwed up, to be honest. Okay, we have even more marines being um, picked off here just by a couple of zerglings. Very cost-effective zerglings here. Already paid for themselves. Um, they aren't actually going to make it into the base, though. No, definitely not. Um, but we do see the Terran transitioning into. Some sort of expansion with a factory coming up, and oh, look at that! Zerg. Zerg feels so safe. He's decided to double expand right now. He's got four base going up. I kind of like that. Third and the fourth base. The Zerg is very, very far ahead right now. Bear in mind, there's four barracks that made Marines that did pretty much nothing just because of a simple misstep with the micro. But um, the command center going down and the factory going down maybe isn't the best transition. Mm. Well, I mean. Let's, going back to the Zerg, <coughs> I like what he's doing, because when you're ahead, just get more ahead, you know? Smash it. That's it. Got the Zerg Unless you're against out. Protoss, then you should just make units and kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> if you, if, if you, <laughs> no, oh, ZVP, hold down R, win game. Whatever, hold down F, win game. <laughs> hold, down, hold down F, hold down F, <laughs> delay roach push. Roach push still comes. <laughs> we lose game. <laughs> I think we need some um, memes. <laughs> we need some meme images going yeah. on. Motivational pictures. He's going to push out with Mass Marine again. Baneling would be so effective right now. And he is actually going to get Banelings. Um, he's got plus one attack going up, as well as Combat Shield, I believe, is just finished. Um, so he's going to try and really fortify this uh, expansion. But I don't think he's even scouted the four base right now. He doesn't know Double how bunkers. greedy the Zerg's going to be, and this is going to come back to bite him in the ass. Double bunkers going down is very weird because generally you do that if you felt like there was an attack coming, but he's just going to macro behind it, and this will be even more detrimental to the Terran. Yeah. Essentially, it's a game of rock paper scissors where um where being defensive beats being economic, or sorry, being aggressive and being economical beats being defensive. Yeah. And this is what's happening right now. It's also called making the wrong decision. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. At the moment, it's just a lack of scouting. He doesn't know what's going on. He hasn't got the watchtowers. Yeah, you're right. I mean, if he saw what his opponent was doing, I mean, maybe he'd be able to do something. But this is not. That's not that's the, way the to key do factor it. right now. Is he's not scouting anything. If we look at his. Well, he's right upgrading. Now, he has no upgrading idea. concussive shells and plus one infantry. He's going to be assuming. I I assume personally that there's going to be some sort of roach lin timing. That's going to yeah. be hitting. As seems the meta game. There's another spire going down. We like this zerg actually does seem to tech all over the place. I, th I think maybe it's a kind of precautionary measure, just in case he gets pushed or something. Then you can. It's um, it's it's just back to the standard um ling bane ling muta style. But I mean, he's actually a roach for it up and didn't actually use it at all about a minute ago. And he hasn't built a single roach, and he's now building a spire. You know what I mean? Like, well, well, fortunately, not make like making the roach more. It's only 150 minerals. It's more of a precaution than anything. But um, it was. It, it's weird that he doesn't utilize at least a couple of roaches for something. These marines are going to get completely surrounded and annihilated. And guys, yeah, there's a drop just about to happen as well. So look out for that. <laughs> Got the lings moving out towards the um, Terran might... base as well. Yeah, he might actually be waiting for a push before he drops them. Oh, no, might wait for uh, not much we'll of a defense. One to finish before he goes in. We'll and see. the drop comes down, attacking the attacking the extractor at the third base, running all the drones and the queens away. And he may just lose this base. Nobody picks oh. him up. Oh, the muters! He's going to need to absolutely drop them as soon as possible. 
No. And unfortunately, that's that entire push gone. So many mutalisks there, man. I believe we have 16 on the field right now. Um, the Zerg player supply captain floating 1.4 thousand minerals. Yeah, the uh, the Terran's actually got a worker kill count of about five, but that's just not nearly enough. Bainley not doing uh, as much damage as it could have there. Missing a, missing a clump of uh, marines and going up on a bunker. I'm having some trouble talking here. These muters, however, are getting a lot of worker kills. There are no turrets up to slow anything down. This is going to be painful. I think just the sheer amount of muters could win the game right here. He's got so Definitely. many against the so little army of, um, of British He's completely here. relying on uh, repairing one or two turrets here, but the no. DPS of the muters is way too much. I'm calling it GG. Unfortunately, now. that's all the SCVs he has <laughs> left. Yeah. There's only less less than 20 now SCVs left on the map. And the Ling's just come streaming in. He's just going to stream in more and more units until he's won. He's trying to get oh, some the more. Boy, Baneling oh, the Ling's. Oh, that BM Baneling morph, man. Check it out. That is... <laughs> that is Definitely. epic. And that's a GG. That is 3-1 to Ninth Legion. Alright, uh, good attempt. British, good attempt. Better luck next time. Indeed. Uh, sorry. I admit that it is getting incredibly intense because, like, oh, I don't know, everyone plays Zerg now? You know, like, what happened to the community? <laughs> yeah, there are three races, be. guys. Three races. Josh, Josh. And everyone... <laughs> I'll tell you what happened, man. Stefano's build happened. Yeah, yeah Stefano true. was like, hey, guys, 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 roaches. <laughs> yeah. Stefano doesn't lots, even know how Lots fight. of roaches. Like, people are like, hey, Stefano, how are you so good? And he's like, I don't know. Like, he just, like, guess. <laughs> half the timings. I He's like, yeah, I'm just going to do this. I hear then. you don't really practice. Is that true? Yeah. What's your secret? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wake up every morning, I log on, I play a few games, and then I, I win. Moisturize his face. Does does his hair do? I think he spends more time on his hair heat than he actually does anything else. But um, I actually think you're right. We should we should maybe intro. Maybe, maybe not. Oh my that gosh, I need to call myself bloody busy. I am on busy. No, it's a spectator chat. Never mind. <laughs> God damn you, bear. Seriously. <laughs> had, had been a lag here. Yeah. Alright, guys, do the introductions. I'm going to get my coffee and I'll be back to talk chibber jabber about more hairstyles. And... More hairstyles? Well, I mean, do you want an intro? I have an intro. Yeah, I'll do it. You do you want to just it. follow my camera? I. Oh, to whatever. Sure, you, I'll do that. Alrighty. So in the top right-hand corner in green, we have our resident Reese, also known as Nine Lives. That's and that's just the, the clan tag, bro. <laughs> and in the bottom, in the bottom left-hand corner, we have the opponent from Fade, Chainsaw. Indeed, we do. And looks like it's going to be a, a fifteen hatch opening from Chainsaw, whilst Reese does some sort of fourteen pull. Well, oh, sorry, fifteen pull. Yes, with Extractor, so going to be looking for that early link speed as well. Um, I don't know how safe you are going a 15 hatch against someone who goes pull first and speed. I, th I think it's doable, but I'm not entirely sure. Would you be able to shed some light on us? Oh, a 15 hatch versus a, a what, sorry? A 15 hatch versus what Lives is doing. Well, what Lives is doing right now is a fourteen was is a pull first, so he is going to get Zerglings out faster. However, his um, oh, he's he's going to get Zerglings out faster. Sorry, as well as speed faster. However, if um if Chainsaw holds off the pressure, he will he'll be having a higher Emax value because he'll have the extra income and the Lings from the um from the extra hatchery. Dude, so it, look at this play from um the purple <laughs> Zerg. He's gas blocking. It's a, what the hell is going on? Ah, this is crazy. Clearly, you've never played ZBZ before. It's actually pretty frequent. Is that in an the evolution lower chamber? That it is. is. They use a little uh, chamber have... to block the gas off and to delay the gas. However, the, the gas delay isn't going to be that much. He's still going to get speed faster just because he got his gas so much earlier. You know what's awesome? Is when it dies and all those broodlings come out and you actually catch it when it's dying. Yeah, that's the that's I get like a free drone kill. That's the second half of the strategy. You get all the broodlings once it dies and then focus down drones. <laughs> I used to do a lot against uh, Protoss when I first started playing um, Zerg. You just get in there with that 300 minerals quickly, build a hatchery, cancel it, and you can build the evolution chamber on the leftover creep. 
and Protoss are going to try and get that expansion up, and they're like, derp, a herp, a herp. They got one stalker there, <laughs> kills the evolution chamber, and the broodlings come out into kill the stalker. It is amazing. It's like, for, uh, for 75 minerals, you can kill 125, 20, uh, 50 gas unit. I think it's worth it. You should try wow. the cat's. You should try the cat's um spineling spine push towards Protoss. Have you seen that video? Uh, if it was in anything like what we seen last night in the Team Cube game, where um their uh, their leader or team captain actually did that against Terra, like if where they, they see Hatchery you, and start pushing forward with spines, and I'm just like, oh my god. Uh, it wasn't that. Vid- Basically, what you do is you make a Hatchery in their base, right? Or at like the bottom of the ramp or whatever, you cancel it and because you brought your queen with your um with all your drones, you drop a creep tumor on the leftover on the leftover creep, and then you make all your spines and just like slowly push forward using the queen the queen to transfuse. Uh, fair enough. It's pretty unbelievable. You make like six plus spines. Yeah, and it, it of, works. It's weird. Yeah, the same kind of abuse can be said for overlords once you get lair tech. Just get in there and start stealing creep wherever you want. And Reese goes in, tries to see what he can spot, tries to pick off a few things, but to no avail. I mean, he's going to lose pretty much most of his units. Yeah, it was a, actually a pretty good block here by... Uh, <laughs> how do you pronounce his name? K- Kenneth Ch- Chainsaw? I, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure it's Chainsaw. I mean, that's, that's phonetically correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure anyway, every phonetic spelling is... Oh, God. I'm not even... Uh, hey, I'm a, I'm, a ling- I'm a linguistic student, okay? I'm not so even don't, go- don't mess- yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to comment. <laughs> it's just, it makes me mad. <laughs> just sad. Unfortunately, Chainsaw is now in the lead because of the um, the economic advantage kicked in by his 15 hatch, and he just has way more Zerglings now because of the amount of larvae. So we'll have to get Banelings involved to um, to clear this up, and it'll just be a Ling Baneling War, which is what we want to see. <laughs> I mean... um. What's his name? Lives has already got his Baneling nest up. He's morphing in two Banelings, but it's going to be a little bit too late. The Zerglings from our um, Fade player here. Okay, well, they're just going to chill out and not even... What? Where's the pressure? Put some pressure on! Okay, he's waiting for the Baneling nest, so he's going to morph in some Banelings. Let's, Banelings let's see how good Lives can split his Lings and Banelings up, but this is going to be... This is going to be tragic, This is going to be something. The, uh, the Fade player is already, like, double ahead in workers. Oh, he's actually going to try walk past. Oh, one Baneling gets taken out by a couple of Zerglings, and two Zerglings sent in to snipe another Baneling. Oh, oh Baneling no, hit. he loses the entire oh. pack of Lings. And, ooh. Unfortunately, that's all of his Banelings gone, only leaving one Ling left and a Spinecrawler to defend. Big Baneling hits here. The Lings are just going to run straight in and go for the main. Take out that Queen. Jack quick and a baneling went off at the natural, but I don't think it really did anything. But all these drones are going to get om nom 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 nom, and um, oh my god, poor lives here is actually so far behind. Look at that worker count, six to thirty-one here. I'm telling you. Unfortunately, that's game over. I mean, I'd love to see, I'd love to see more happen, but uh, wow. banelings are pretty good. Quick it's all over. about control. It's all about control.